Hello there, welcome to another video. Um, so in the previous video where I was playing Sonic 3 Complete, I said I was going to check out this game, Angel Island Revisited, uh, also known as Sonic 3 Air. Uh, now this, this is something a bit different from just a ROM hack. This is, as far as I can work out, basically a PC port, but it's an entirely fan-made port. Uh, of Sonic 3 and Knuckles uh, to the PC. I think there's a Mac version as well. Um, if you already own Sonic 3 and Knuckles on Steam, it will automatically uh, pick up the file it needs to run. Um, it uses the original ROM as a basis, but it's not emulated as far as I'm aware because it's running uh, it's running in widescreen. It has all these other options that you know were not possible to do on on the Mega Drive on the Genesis. So I'm going to take you through some of those, and then I'm going to do a bit of a, a playthrough. So um, it, it also supports mods, which I find uh, fascinating. Um, now the the game without mods doesn't quite have all of the features and, and tweaks that Sonic 3 Complete has, but most of those are available as mods. Various fixes. Um, you can give Tails his own intro to Angel Island. Uh, the zone dependent title cards. Uh, and other elements, uh, and the complete Sonic 3 sprites were things in Sonic 3 Complete, which uh, you can add as mods. There's some other things I downloaded but haven't installed, um, just to try them out. Um, and if you go into the options, uh, you can set everything here. Uh, I think one of the most remarkable things about this is the remastered soundtrack. So you can switch it to emulated, which sounds like this. Now listen to the remastered. It's just so much cleaner. Uh, it's really amazing. Um, and you can set which version of the music you pick for all of these themes. Um, a one-up jingle, you can have the Sonic 3 version, the Sonic & Knuckles version, or you can have it dependent on which zone you're playing. Uh, there's all the alternative and prototype themes. Um, I like having the... Where are we? I like having the prototype... There's a, there's a piece of prototype music uh, from uh, Sonic 3, which went unused, and most people think it was supposed to be a super or hyper theme music, supersonic music. Um, it's not confirmed, but it sounds like it should be, and it's a, it's a unique piece, so I, I like that one. Um, the display, I mean there are filters, there's a sort of sharpening mod, which I think looks a bit weird, but you know, it's nice to have. Um, where it's soft and without scan lines. Background blur, this is wild. You can you can tell the background, like the parallax layers, to be slightly soft out of focus. Uh, and it just kind of makes the, the foreground pop a bit more. It's really clever. Um, and character rotations, uh, that's another one. I tell you what, I'm gonna I'm gonna start a game. Um, and you can see some of these in action. Um, Oh, and uh, there's obviously the two-player competition mode, um, but there's also a time trial mode for the single-player levels as well, and you can race against your own ghosts. Um, there's achievements. Uh, I've already unlocked some of these, but as you get enough, as you get more achievements, you unlock new abilities. I'm not sure what some of these are. Oh, that's probably Blue Spheres. If you unlock 12 achievements, you get Blue Spheres. So what else have I got to do here? Um, Get two, two lots of invincibility stars, uh, electrocute an underwater enemy, get the jackpot. Oh, I tried this, Angel Island, Act 1 in under 45 seconds, that's quite hard. Uh, six giant rings in Marble Zone 1, get all the rings in the snowboarding. I'm not sure how you get the upper boss with Knuckles in Act 1 of Ice Cap, but... Uh, some of these are quite doable. These are the ones I've got already. Um, okay, right, we're gonna we're gonna play this. Uh, I've already had a go with um, 
Knuckles, I'm in the middle of a Sonic playthrough. I'm going to play it uh, as Tails. Um, I'll start a new save. You can actually, I've unlocked Tails and Knuckles as an option, which is, which is pretty crazy. Um, but I'm going to play as Tails, Tails alone this time. And uh, because of the mod I've added, he's, um, he's, got, he's got a new intro. So the game normally just starts you here. There's no knuckles, there's no cutscene. Um, this is a cool feature though. Um, you can restart any level. Um, and here we go. Uh, restart act. And look, you can speed up. You can fast forward through cutscenes. That's wild. <laughs> so here we go. It's just so much thought went into this. Um, look, you can see the you can see the kind of sprite rotation that they do here. It just makes uh, makes it look a bit smoother when you're going around loops and like ramps and things. Um, if you start the game as Knuckles, uh, you get Knuckles intro where the the egg robo drops a bomb on him, but it happens somewhere completely different. And um, there's actually if you go up here. Look, this section here is completely new. They've built this for Sonic 3 Air. And this is where Knuckles starts his uh, his game, over here. He start, just starts it here. And they've like, built a whole separate bit of the level. It's crazy. Yeah, achievement unlocked. <laughs> and you can sort of see here the background's got a bit of a blur to it. I've only set it to 50%, but it still looks quite nice, I think, without being too over the top. Uh, but the special stages, this is this is the best thing. Look at these special stages. It's like they've been given an HD remaster. They look amazing. The animation is smoother, the lines are cleaner. I mean, this this project is almost on a par with uh, what um, Taxman and Stealth did with uh, the retro engine remakes of Sonic 1 and 2 and Sonic CD. This is, it's that good. It's up there with them, I think. In terms of quality, in terms of features. Um, I mean, if you if you want a game that is authentic, that will run on original hardware and will run on emulators and so on, then Sonic 3 Complete is still, you know, amazing. But if you're playing on PC, I think this is this is the way to go. And if there's some feature that is missing that you that you like to see included, um, you can just run a mod. It's pro there's probably one exists. If you can think of it, it exists. And if it doesn't, I'm sure it will soon. I mean, just being in widescreen makes a heck of a difference. You know, being able to see a little bit further ahead than normal. Look, even, I think even his tails are rotating more smoothly. Because it's widescreen, some of the bosses, um, they had to be tweaked a little bit because sometimes you get a boss that moves from left to right on the screen or there's certain platforms you have to stand on. Um, 
They've been, you know, modified, tweaked a little bit so that they play correctly in widescreen. I mean, <laughs> that's 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 a pretty that's a pretty clever feature in itself. You know, just widening widening out the viewpoint uh, makes a, a heck of a difference to the game. I just can't get over how good these special stages are looking at. You know, I, I, I heard about this project, I think it was released uh, a, a year or so ago. Um, probably not to this level of completeness, uh, but I, I sort of saw it, thought, oh yeah, that looks interesting, I might check that out. I had no idea that it was this good. Racking up the lives and continues already. And because it's a PC port, it's not running on, uh, you know, the original hardware. It, it runs at a, a consistent 60 frames per second uh, without any slowdown. Now look at that rotation, uh, that smooth, smooth rotation that the Mega Drive simply couldn't do at the time. Uh, I'm going to see if I can uh, zap something underwater. I think there's an enemy down here. Here we go. Yeah! <laughs> see a bit more of Knuckle Groot over there thanks for the widescreen but obviously you still can't get that way unless you play as Knuckles. See look, he's not all the way over on the right now. So he probably his movement speed now is probably the same. He just doesn't go as far. So I can now stand over this this side of him and stand behind him, which you can't do in the original, obviously. And as you hear there, that's the original mini boss music uh, that was changed with Sonic and Knuckles. Uh, it lets you pick lets you pick that version or the Sonic and Knuckles version. Basically, most of the features that were in Sonic 3 Complete and all of that customization is all in there. Uh, probably, probably more customization, actually. Here we go. Right, let's get the third emerald. I just noticed the um, the blue spheres that will turn transparent when you walk over them just for a second. You know, that, that's something else the Mega Drive could do was like proper transparencies. You know, it had to, uh, if you wanted to do transparencies on the Mega Drive, you had to kind of fake it with uh, palette swaps and flickering and mesh, mesh effects and things like that. But uh, yeah, because this isn't technically running on Mega Drive hardware anymore. Uh, They've added all these sort of neat effects. Yeah, sprite rotations, transparencies. 
glare filters. There we go, that's three. So there was an option in the menu to enable Super Tails and Hyper Tails. Now, I, I, I don't know what Hyper Tails is. I know Super Tails, could normally in Sonic 3 and Knuckles, if you get all the Chaos Emeralds as Tails, you don't have any Super Transformation. You only get the Super Transformation when you get all the Super Emeralds in the second half of the game, and then you only get Super Tails. And Super Tails has the uh, sort of golden flickies, the birds, uh, flying around him, um, which can help you take out enemies and so on. But I don't know what I don't know what Hyper Tails is. That's not something I've seen before. I don't think he's been in any of the games. Yeah, so it'll be it'll be interesting to see what uh, what Hyper Tails is all about, and whether Super Tails is the same as he was in uh, you know, Sonic Three and Knuckles. Whether he's still got the the flicky flying around him or not, I don't know. So we'll see. You can see down into Knuckles area there. Uh, I'm going to try to fly it up, up and over as much as possible. It's a um, good idea to take advantage of Tail's abilities. I don't really need to do that, but there we go. Can I go up there? No. It's been a while since I've done a Tail's playthrough. Definitely designed for for him though this area. Here we go. All right, there's a big ring in here. Four special stages. As far as I'm aware, there's only four special stages in Angel Island. Um, if anyone knows of any other special stage big rings that I've missed, let me know in the comments because I would love to uh, discover new things. Also, if you have any um, alternative strategies for these special stages if you have a different way of doing them that's easier or quicker again let me know
Time still gets out of breath. For this, I think the um, I think the the bomb dropping the ship bit that's coming up has been changed. There's an option to make it harder, uh, which I think means it's going to actually drop bombs on my head now. Oh yes! <laughs> it's it's no longer a point in this section that can't hurt you. Wow. Okay, that's, that's going to need a bit of practice. A bit harder without a fire shield, this bit. Ah, no, I can see that happening in slow motion. Here we go. Okay. See these zone transitions are still the same. Got the original knuckles music there. Right. Try and find some more special stages now. We struggle a bit to find them in this zone. I'm pretty sure there's one around here somewhere. one under here. You have to fly through. Oh, there we go. Oh, wait. One change I quite like is that the ring counter, um, now you can tell it to count down instead of up. So instead of telling you how many rings you've got, it can tell you how many you've got left to collect, same as the blue spheres. But as I say, that's something you can toggle on or off. If you want your ring counter going up like it used to be, then that's, that's fine too.
I don't want to go that way. There's something down here. Yeah. Ah, how do I get in there? There we go. Hey. Doing all right. Uh, which way did it come from? No, not that way. This way, here we go. Yeah, trick to this stage is not to box yourself in. So always go at uh, a right angle to where you came in. Otherwise you'll just do a loop. If you do a loop, you'll get stuck. I mean, you can get out of that, but it sort of involves doing tricky jumps over two red spheres. And you don't want to do that. I've always wondered what these stages looked like if they were unwrapped. Like, if you just see a, a top-down view. I'm sure you can, uh, I'm sure you can see those if you look online, but uh, I've, I've always wondered. And are all, of these, are all of these stages the same size? That's the other thing, because they present themselves as spheres, which suggests that they have a fixed size before, obviously, you start coming back on yourself. But is that actually true? Is that just part of the illusion? I don't know. I've never looked into it. The widescreen makes this easier because you can kind of catch the, the blue spheres out of your peripheral vision. Okay, only one more to go. I can do this. Should be able to get the seventh one in Act 2. Uh, a little bit trickier uh, without an insta shield, but good thing is you can just you know, fly over him. Whoa, watch out! And then hit him when he does this. level layouts are using the Sonic 3 and Knuckles layout, so it's a slightly easier version. Uh, I don't know if that's something you can toggle actually. I don't know if Sonic 3 Sonic 3 complete level layouts are, are available as an option. If they're not, I'm sure there is a mod to enable them. But by default, it's, uh, it's Sonic 3 and Knuckles level layout. Which is fine, and, you know, I don't really mind. The, the changes to level layouts don't really bother me, to be honest. Right, let's see if I can get a jackpot, because there's an achievement for getting a jackpot. A triple jackpot, I should say. I don't actually know what the odds of getting one are. But presumably, if I go in here enough times, I will eventually get one. Good score. I don't want to tempt fate, but you know, that's not what I'm here for. <laughs> wow. 
Wow, 200 rings. Thing is, even if I get the triple Robotnik now, I'm not going to lose all my rings. Run out of chances shortly. I assume these are just random. As I say, I don't know what the actual odds are of getting a triple jackpot. Ah oh well. Probably gonna lose all these rings anyway, so. We get 400 rings at this rate. Pretty close. Here we go, the last special stage. Oh, 
think I've locked myself out. There they are. That's it. So, I've got Super Tails now. Guess I should see what he can do. Super tails, no, um, no flickies to help him. Interesting. Just invincibility. So I guess hyper tails is where you get the flickies. Fair enough, I mean they wanted to differentiate them and rather than come up with an even more powerful version for Hypertails they just made they just made a weaker version for Supertail That's fine, I mean that makes sense Let's see if I can get the achievement for, uh, is it six giant rings? And that's not the Christmas song, um, in this level. Oh, come on. Two. <laughs> mm, okay, that's, that's a shortcut. I don't know if I wanted that or anything, but... Never. I don't normally come this way at all. It's up here, nothing. check these things. Yeah, so this music, this is, um, this was music found in a, in a prototype of Sonic 3, and no one really knew what it was for. So I think everyone's just kind of assumed that it was supposed to be for Super Sonic, and obviously the Super Sonic music actually used in the game is very different. Um, I think they basically just use the invincibility music, and, um, the one in Sonic and Knuckles is particularly uh, repetitive. It's just like the same four second loop playing over and over and over again. Um, so that's why I prefer this. Yeah, is that three? I think that's three. Because um, it's a unique it's a unique theme. It's not as repetitive. It's very upbeat. Uh, the alternative, of course, is you just have no uh, super music at all. You can either tell it to have the normal zone music uh, or sped up zone music is another option. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find the last three giant rings, to be honest. I can try. Yeah. I'm going the wrong way. 
This is an exit, not an entrance. I recognise this. Huh. Cancel. Yeah, so you can cancel out of super forms at any time you like. So if you wanted to save your rings for whatever reason, you can do that. a big ring up there but it's not okay I need another two I don't think I'm gonna do it nah. oh well let's try it another time said Act 1. Uh, Marble Zone Act 1. Marble Garden Act 1. There's plenty of big rings on Act 2. Um, oh well, let's just keep going. I will stop soon and uh, do, a, do a separate video for the rest probably. Um, just wanted to talk you through few of the excellent features in this in this game. Yeah, so the very clever, very impressive. Um, I hesitate to call it a mod. It's not a mod, really. It, it's you know it's basically a PC port, pretty much a remastering. It's that good. Try that again. I will take the upper route again because I very rarely play as just tails, um, so I don't often go this way. Again? Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh no. That's ridiculous. Come on, I'm not going to let it keep me. Yeah. 
Right, here we go. Take it slow. regular route now. There we go, this is the other bonus stage. This is a good one for collecting rings. You can make it all the way to the top and get like 80 rings at once. to have that electric shield in here because uh, pulls all the rings towards you. Save my rings. The uh, the boss the boss of this zone. If you're playing as tails only. A lot harder. Because you've got to hit him from underneath with your tails. So what I'm going to do? Keep enough rings to uh, transform into super tails, and then I can just ram him. It's the boss much easier. notice that's playing the Sonic and Knuckles one-up music. I wonder because when you choose um, pick by zone it thinks that bonus stage is a Sonic and Knuckles stage. Hmm, let's just see what happens if I collect an extra life in the original bonus stage, whether it plays the Sonic 3 music or not. Interesting, I didn't, I didn't notice that. Right, here we go. Even though you hit him eight times, he doesn't actually uh, doesn't actually die until he's up in the air. But there we go. That's cool. Okay, 
I think I'm going to call it a day there. Um, thanks for watching this. Um, I'm just going to take you back out to the main menu. Obviously, because it's using the save system, uh, you can just carry on from that point. Uh, there's loads of other there's loads of other options and mods and things that you can change. Uh, I encourage you to check this out. I think it's a really, really good project. Um, it's still being updated as far as I'm aware. Uh, and new mods are, are being made available. So uh, yeah, check it out. Thanks for watching. I'm going to do some more videos to finish off this playthrough. And uh, that's it for now. Thanks a lot. Goodbye.